Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. What an absolutely crazy day of Team of the Year. Day one with server crashes, tons of packs being released. Pack weight is crazy. Prices are cheap on these new Team of the Year cards. Even cheaper day one prices than I was expecting to see them throughout the whole uh, week when they were going to be in packs later into next week. Messi is like 4.4 million coins. It's crazy, right? Lewandowski is already 1.7 mil, which is kind of where I predicted his price to be after he was going to be in packs for a week. And Mbappe is 8 mil. So the prices on these cards are cheaper already, but that just kind of falls in line with, with how this game has been this year. We had the SBC and objective content that we were expecting. The Harry Kane SBC and the Danielle Verde five-star skill objective, which it's a nice card. Uh, but what I want to talk about today is the market rise, right? There was a lot of market rise yesterday. After all the servers crashing madness and all of that stuff that went on, there was a lot of cards that, you know, went up for the exact same reason that we talked about in the last couple days videos that the content wasn't game breaking for most people on this game. So what most people did was go out and use coins that they got from opening packs, whether it was lightning rounds, saved up packs, or whatever. They got coins from opening packs, went out and bought cards, and that caused a very nice market rise on these out-of-packs cards, some icons, and SBC fodder, which was crazy. Even with all the pack supply that we had yesterday, there were some fodder prices that actually went really low, but then skyrocketed because of how cheap some SBCs got. And I wanna talk about that. That was something that I don't think a lot of people saw coming. I definitely did not see that, but it makes sense kind of looking at it in hindsight. So we'll talk about all that in today's video. And of course, talk about what content we could see today because with the schedule of how this looks, these attackers are going to be in packs until Sunday. The midfielders will be in packs from Sunday to Tuesday, kind of in like two-day sections, right? Two days for attackers, two days for midfielders, two days for defenders. And then after the defenders would go out of packs, that's when EA will release the full team. So we're looking at next Thursday for the full team of the year to be in packs. Maybe next Friday, one of those two days, we'll kind of look into that and see what EA wants to do. But that's kind of the schedule as it looks. That's not confirmed, but based on they're doing it uh, right now and how they did it last year, that's what we can expect. But for today on Saturday, what kind of content could we see? There's a couple really big leaked SBCs, including a flashback Raphael Varane, which has got the market moving already. So if you're excited for team of the year and you're excited for this promo and what's to come for this next week and a half of sort of content, make sure to hit the thumbs up and of course, subscribe to the channel. But let's take a look at these team of the year players, because of course, um, some of these prices that we see already on these items are like prices that I thought we were going to see a week into the promo after they have gotten packed from the first round when they're in packs by position. And then later on, Lewandowski, I think I predicted his price to be like 1.5 to 1.7 mil. He's already in the 1.7 mil range. Now, some of these cards have gotten low tonight and have bounced back up. Now, I actually bought a Messi in the low 4.3 mil range. He's starting to rebound back up now and starting to get a little bit more rare. Still a couple cards around 4.3. But, you know, um, Mbappe was 7.8 mil. He's now back over 8. Lewandowski was 1.7 flat. He's now rising and Messi is rising too. But again, for first day prices, these are so cheap compared to last year. Case in point is this example right here with Mr. Lewandowski. Take a look at this. Lewandowski is 1.7 million coins right now and 1.5 on the Xbox. Last year, day one, Lewandowski was 3 million coins on a PlayStation and 2.7 on the Xbox. Crazy, crazy price differences from these cards this year to last year. Now Mbappe is more expensive this year, but that's just because Mbappe is a whole different level of a glitch this year in FIFA. So people are much more willing to pay, I think, the extra coins this year for an Mbappe card compared to his item from last year that was 7 million coins to about a million coins more this year. Right now, that is. He's still 6.3 on Xbox. And last year on Xbox, he was, you know, 5.86 mil. So not a huge difference there. But I do think that these cards will drop lower. Maybe not so much dropping a ton lower today on Saturday with more packs. A little bit, I would say. Uh, but I can see these guys dropping off more, especially into the later part of the week. Just because it's it seems so easy. Like, okay, let me rephrase that. It seems a lot easier than ever to pack team of the years. The amount of team of the years that I saw on my Twitter timeline yesterday from people that had opened up packs and saved up packs uh, to open during this promo 
was crazy. I saw so many people that were packing team of the years. It was wild, especially Lewandowski. Now that just kind of goes in line with what we were expecting, honestly, because everything this year has so much higher pack weight, even though the pack weight in the store says less than 1% on all of these cards, it still is, you know, people are hitting team of the years at a much faster rate than they ever have um, before in previous years. So that bodes well for, especially coming into next week, if you're waiting to open packs. Now I've opened 150 packs yesterday and didn't pack anything higher than 89 rated Benzema and Salah, right? Which is still a dub, but I didn't pack any team of the year. So you're like, yeah, Nate, team of the years are more packable. Didn't happen to me. Well, I'm just saying that over this next week and a half, when we have team of the year cards packable, when you're doing upgrade packs, I think you're going to see more people packing cards over these next couple of weeks on this game. So that's kind of what's happening with those cards. Now, again, we can't talk about yesterday on FIFA without talking about the crazy server outage. I mean, this was, we, you know, we joke about the servers going down, but then it actually happens and the servers were down for like an hour and a half. I was literally here at 6 p.m. We were on the, on the game and on the market for about 10, 15 minutes. The servers went down and I was not able to get consistently back into the game until like 7.30 p.m. UK, which is an hour and a half after the content drop. So EA said we are investigating reports, blah, blah, blah. Some players are not able to uh, enter the game. So the servers were a huge issue yesterday, and that created some market movement, which we'll talk about. But the biggest thing that came out of that was, due to the issue covered in this thread, they have extended the current Foot Champions Finals by 24 hours. So a lot of people are happy about that. You have an extra day to complete Foot Champs Finals uh, right now in this game for this weekend. So if you haven't played Foot Champs or if you got something going on this weekend, you've got extra time to get your 20 games in, which is very nice, actually, in all things considered for a lot of people that want to play Weekend League. That is very, very nice. So that's kind of what happened yesterday on the game. That was the big like drama and the big news. Now, we had the SBCs and objective content we expected, right? We had the objective Verity, which did get a five-star skill, three-star weak foot upgrade. And it's a nice free card. It's a five-star skiller with really good pace, uh, really good agility balance, and 96 shot power. Yeah, it's kind of cool. He does have a three-star weak foot, um, and he's got the... He's got long shot power free kick. So it's a decent card. Nothing stupid crazy, but it is a nice card from objectives, uh, maybe for a Serie A tradable team. And it's not super hard to attain. Now the Harry Kane SBC, a lot of downvotes here. I've already done this as a Spurs fan. It's in the club. I crafted it yesterday through upgrades. I'm a huge fan of this card. I just wish they would have given him four star skills. That's the four star skill move boost. And I think you know, if they would have given him 90 pace and maybe 90 dribbling, just a little bit more of a boost on this card. And, you know, it, it could have been really good. But, you know, realistically, with these stats, I think the SBC should have been about 250K. People would have been a lot more happy for it. But, you know, some people that want to get this done will get it done. But all things considered, kind of like we thought it was going to happen on the game yesterday, since, you know, the SBC content was good, but not insane. And since the cards that are in packs are super duper expensive, a lot of people went back to the market yesterday and just bought cards that they wanted for their team. And you saw a lot of players rise up in price. Uh, one of the examples that I bought yesterday, I bought an Nkunku for 548,000 coins. Now Nkunku is back up to 620,000 coins. Now that's a general market rise, right? Or here's another example, Anthony Marshall, which is a card that we've been talking about all week. This guy was 500 and 20,000 coins. And this Anthony Martial has gone all the way up to about 600K. A really, really nice rise on this card as an item that is out of packs that people just wanted to buy and use. With the coins that they got today on this game, people bought cards like this to go out and use uh, on the market. Genduzi was a really big riser as well. Genduzi went from like 300,000 coins already being inflated. He was up at 340K for a hot moment. Right now he's like 320, 324. Um, and there may be some more panic selling on this due to the SBC we might have this weekend, which we'll talk about in a second. Um, but a lot of cards really rose nicely on the market yesterday, right? You had a lot of stuff move upwards because people, again, went out and bought cards with the new coins that they had. So, you know, I bought these Nabries earlier in the week at 170. I bought some Freds yesterday at 225. 
220 and they sold for like 260 to 270. Um, there's another leaked SBC that is making this card rise, which we'll talk about in today's video as well. So, you know, I've sold a lot of cards. And again, I mentioned, uh, or at least I think I mentioned, I bought a Messi tonight for 4.3 mil just because I thought that was so cheap for a day one price on Messi. Now he went back down to 4.3 flat uh, and I bought mine at 4.34. So hopefully he gets rare into this morning on Saturday, and I'm hoping to see this card go back up into, you know, anywhere around the 4.7 to 4.8 mil range. I was going to hopefully try out the Messi card, but I bought a fresh one. So in order to keep it fresh and so that people would like to use that card a little bit more, maybe if they're trying it out, um, I'm probably not going to play a game with it, but I'll buy him again at some point and, and try him out and have some fun with him. Uh, but just trying to make a quick flip out of a brand new card because these team of the years are hype, right? And they're going to continue to fluctuate on the market, especially on the first promo night. We see that happen very often. So there was a ton of coins that could have been made yesterday. Some of the biggest rises actually you saw on links to Lewandowski because he was the most affordable card that was released in team of the year yesterday. Kingsley Coman went from about 500,000 coins, 520K. He was actually up to like 650 at one point. Alfonso Davies rule breakers card. Uh, this card absolutely exploded. He went from 140,000 coins all the way up to 220K. I think he's back down a little bit now. He's about 200, but this card exploded because people were moving Lewandowski to a CDM position, linking Davies and Sule together, who a lot of people did the Sule showdown. Um, and then boom, they had themselves a nice little triangle right there. So you saw that, that uh, fly in price on the market yesterday too. Now, let me look at something on the market where you guys are like, Nate, this is crazy, right? And I know we talked about selling fodder before Friday. Now, this is why there were some crazy fodder movements on this game yesterday. And we had to talk about this because it was absolutely wild. And I really don't think many people expected this. Um, so with the servers going down yesterday, I think this really created this scenario as well. The base or mid icon player pick, right? So SBC fodder yesterday, when the first hour of lightning rounds and when the server's going down and, and nobody else is on the game, SBC fodder went stupid, stupid cheap, right? Take a look at this. Uh, take a look at this Lukaku. He went from... 24,000 coins, which was down a little bit because people were getting out of some of their fodder. He went from 24,000 coins down to 21. He was actually like all 88s were 20K flat. But look at this spike afterwards. Now, with the content yesterday for a lot of people on this game not being super crazy, you know, you had the Kane SBC. All right, that wasn't wild. You have very overpriced cards that a lot of people can't buy if they don't have more than like, you know, 2 million coins. So what do people do? Well, they got some packs. Maybe they did some upgrade packs, got a few fodder cards, and they like, oh my goodness, there's the, still the, the base or mid player pick that is out, right? So they went back to the market and either bought fodder to finish an SBC like this that they already had partially completed, or they were like, okay, there's nothing else to do, so I'm going to do a base icon player pick. The base icon player pick went from 700,000, 750,000 coins to do. Fodder dropped off so much that it went down to 590K and then it exploded right back over 700K because people had coins and people had extra fodder from opening packs. It was crazy. I mean, like, again, I show you these 88 rated cards. I mean, I look at, I remember seeing Harry Kane during the lightning rounds. We checked 90 rated cards were like 35K. Now he's up to 52,000 coins. So if you noticed that fodder was really low in that first uh, lightning round and when you were people were trying to get back onto the game, if you saw that and you bought SBC fodder in that quick moment, great quick thinking and big time GG's because fodder exploded incredibly huge because of how cheap that SBC got. I mean, even look at the Kaka SBC, right? 950K. I mean, I still think Kaka was like 800 something thousand coins in the dip. Yeah, 800,000 coins flat is what this card was when drop, fodder was dropping so much yesterday. Um, and then of course, you saw the big rebound in there. So, you know, if you're for somebody who is looking to invest in fodder, that window was so small and so tiny. I mean, I'm not buying into this stuff right now, even though the base icon player pick is out and that's probably going to keep this fodder, you know, a little bit inflated. I don't want to touch this at the moment. Um, the low tier fodder is down 84 is at 2000 coins. That was a huge drop off. And th these cards really didn't bounce back, right? These guys kind of got, you know, 
packed into oblivion and they're still really really low maybe up like 100 or 200 coins a card but the stuff that was really affected the most was that upper tier upper echelon of the fodder yesterday on the market which was absolutely crazy and especially it was crazy because ea is running all the lightning rounds in the world right now we just picked up a sale i don't know who it was on but i'm curious so i want to check all right i sold this gomez i bought this at 285 sold it at 337 ggs but SBC fodder right now has been packed into oblivion at the same time as it's gone up. The supply on this game is crazy. They're running lightning rounds almost every single hour. They're doing the 85 plus star packs, the 86 plus star packs. Um, just like how we had during winter wild cards, we had, you know, the 50, 100 and 125k lightning rounds. They're doing the extra lightning rounds on top of it, right? So I would expect to see early morning lightning rounds today on Saturday. They did for the first time ever yesterday, they actually did two lightning rounds in one hour. When the servers were going down, they dropped the first 50K lightning round right away at 6 p.m. with 50K packs. And then 30 minutes later, those had already sold out. So they put in another lightning round of 50K packs for the few people that were on the servers and on the game during that time. And so EA still made their bag yesterday. That's the crazy thing about this. EA still made their bag. People bought a bunch of FIFA points to open up lightning rounds for the team of the year attackers. And uh, even though the servers were down, you know, EA still made their money because people bought those FIFA points and those packs sold out. That's the crazy part about it, that even though that stuff went down and so many people were mad uh, at EA Sports, so many people were mad at EA yesterday for the servers going down, myself included, right? Because it's so disheartening when you want to get on the game and open packs because of the brand new team of the year cards that are out and you're just sitting there like, oh my goodness, I, I can't do anything because um, I'm literally just sitting here trying to get on this game and I'm not able to. So that was kind of crazy to see, um, but it is all good and well now. And I think it was just kind of server overload traffic, but we did get weekend league extended. So that's I guess a nice part about it as well. Now, again, speaking about these team of the year cards, um, you know, the way that it looks is again, I think I mentioned this at the beginning of the video too, but just be careful with the um, pack weight on these cards because it is higher than ever and these cards are cheaper than, than ever already. So I would expect if you have any of these cards and you're trying them out, I, as we do a lot of times with stuff on this game, just be careful with it. Just be careful with it because, you know, we have a couple SBCs that are leaked and that could mean prices on these cards may be dropping a bit depending on what content comes out in the next couple of days uh, on this game. Now let's talk about Saturday content, right? Now a lot of cards rebounded up very, very nicely yesterday. A lot of icons were great to fluctuation trade with. Um, and I'll say this before we move on to today's content. Uh, some of these cards are back down, right? Uh, kind of what we're learning with a lot of these cards is the peak point of buyback on a lot of stuff on the market is during like the two to three hours, that window, it's two to three hours after the content drop. So uh, content drops at 6 p.m. UK or 1 p.m. Eastern my time. For the next two to three hours after that, especially on a day like this, where the content is not super duper insane, SPC or objective wise, that makes people go change their teams up. You see a lot of these cards um, kind of rise up the most and peak during that time frame. Like I sold my, my Van Dyke for 757,000 coins. And he's now back down to like 710. So, you know, some of the stuff kind of peaks during that time frame and then dips back down a little bit overnight. So just kind of keep an eye out for that when you're trading in the future. That sweet spot is like three to four hours after the promo drop, two, three, four hours after. That's kind of the sweet spot for selling some cards at a premium. So just kind of keep that in mind for the future. But for some stuff that we might see today on Saturday in this game, there are two big SBCs that are leaked. Now, one of them could be coming sooner than the other. So I'm going to talk about this one first. And I think this one could cause a little bit of panic on some other midfielders in this game. I believe that this Lucas Paqueta Team of the Year Moments SBC would be a card that might come either today on Saturday or tomorrow on Sunday with the release of the midfielders in packs. Again, like they did today, with the attackers in packs, they dropped an attacker SBC with Kane and an attacker objective with Verde. So I would not be surprised if they dropped this either today or tomorrow with midfielders kind of being the hype piece on Sunday. But Lucas Paqueta is leaked. Again, these are not confirmed stats, but hopefully the card looks like this. This could be a banging card. It could be really, really dope, really, really fun. And the reason why I think this could cause some movements on the market is because the links that this guy has 
And, you know, Lucas Paquette has been known as kind of a FIFA player, right? He's got a really good player of the month item um, that, that was decently, uh, you know, it was kind of expensive when it was out, but it was a card that people still did. He's had a couple TOTS cards in years past that a lot of people have liked. So the number one and two cards that I'd be careful about right now would be this Ganduzi. I'd be a little careful with him, right? Because he's bounced up so much on the market. If they make this card really, really cheap, which there's no guarantee that they do, but if they made this SBC really, really cheap, you might see a card like Genduzi or like Fofana, because Fofana went up like 70K. He was 970 and he was 900,000 coins earlier yesterday. Yeah, he was like 900 flat, 909, all the way up to like 970. Right now he's 950. Some of these cards might get hurt in value if the Paqueta is really, really good value. So just watch out for that. And again, he's League One links, he's Brazil. Those are the links that are so very popular in this game right now at the moment. So that hasn't really moved the market too much yet. Now, an SBC that was leaked yesterday that will not come until the full teams in packs. So this SBC is expected not tomorrow, not Sunday, probably not until next Thursday or Friday, but a flashback Varan. Of course, this would be a team of the year flashback similar to the Harry Kane SBC, a team of the year flashback to... FIFA 19, when Varane got a center back team of the year card, a lot of people love that item. Now, I don't know if these are the exact stats that the cards are going to have. Again, it says the stats are predicted. This would be an SBC that people would go bananas for. And if I just show you some cards on this game that moved like crazy because of this leak yesterday, people already started investing in stuff. Take a look at this Paul Pogba wins her wild cards, right? Pogba Yesterday was 800 and like 60k, 862. The leak came out for this. He went to like 1.1 mil almost. He was 1.02, kind of went back down, and right now he's about uh, 900. He's actually just about a million coins. Now there was another card that uh, I had a Bruno Fernandez team of the group stage item. This guy's back down to 500k, but take a look at this spike. Right, he went from 480 all the way, spiked up to 600k. And is now back down. Your Manchester United cards yesterday on this game absolutely exploded. I had some Freds as well. Again, he's like 250. So I bought a couple Freds like right here at 220s. And he spiked all the way to like 260K. Partially because of people buying back cards for teams. But also partially because of this leak. And this is a massive, massive leak. So whether this is a card that you is going to be a must have, right? There's a lot of market movements that will happen around this if and when it is dropped, this is a major SBC. So again, I know it's a leak. I know it's way ahead of when it's going to actually get released, but um, just kind of keep that in mind that that is out there. A lot of people were asking me, yo, could that Varan SBC impact some of the card prices on the market, like for Marquinhos or Hakimi or Ruben Diaz when those cards are released? And honestly, I feel like it's only going to impact those prices in one way. I feel like a Varane flashback SBC would only make those team of the year prices cheaper. If Varane's card is like team of the year level, if he has like almost 90 pace with 90 plus defense and physicality, like they juice the card to the max uh, and that it's cheap. If it's cheap and really, really OP in terms of stats, that's the only way that I could see it affecting team of the year prices. If it's not that great or the stats aren't that juiced, then I think the team of the year cards will be hyped and, and preferred over that, that flashback item. But you know, with this Bruno bouncing back down to like 500K, I mean, this is a really, really rare card. So I'm kind of keeping an eye on this because he kind of bounced around so much that I'm a little bit interested in buying this again. What was he just? Five, 501? Yeah, if I see another card like that around 500K, I'm probably just going to buy it because that is really, really cheap to me. So those are a couple SBCs that are rumored to be coming soon. Now, what I really expect today from EA is more lightning rounds, right? More lightning rounds. And watch out on Messi, Lewandowski, and on um, Mbappe, but specifically Messi and Lewandowski, watch out for a little bit of panic selling heading into the 6 p.m. time frame. Especially, I know a lot of people, it seems, are trying to trade with this Lewandowski tonight. I'm being really careful with this card. I did not buy one because I think Lewandowski is, is being traded with by a lot of people. Now, he's kind of rebounded back up. He was 1.7 flat. Now, he's gone to 1.8. And he does look like a really, really good card. And I don't know how high this is going to go up in the morning today. But I bet if we take a look at a lot of these cards, um, yeah, second owner, no games played, right? That tells me it's somebody that's trying to flip the card and invest. A couple of them here. There's another second owner, no games played at 1.87, 1.86. So, I mean, I do think Lewandowski can rebound up even more this morning on Saturday. But I would be careful. 
because I think there might be a decent amount of panic selling on these cards as we head into 6 p.m. today. So I would watch out for that for sure uh, on this game. And again, the other thing to talk about right now is with the market getting all these coins from lightning rounds and from people opening packs and stuff like this, the, the market's really healthy right now. So it's going to be an absolutely great time to trade with out of packs cards with um icons and stuff like that because people are just going to be buying cards right because they've been waiting to buy until team of the year and now since team of the year has come you know you're going to see a lot of people go out on the market try cards out buy cards with newly found coins that they got from opening packs and stuff like that so i would keep a close eye on the market your fluctuation trading and cards that are very hype because of links and stuff like that um you know i would keep an eye on it because i think there's going to be great opportunities to trade with a lot of items on this game and on this market during this time just because of again how the market is kind of flipped right we're in a stage where not as many people are scared to buy because of what's coming up now a lot of people are like all right it's team of the year time. I got coins. I'm going to go out and buy cards. So I, I think it's a great time to trade right now on this game and on this market. So keep an eye out for good prices across the game and fluctuations. If you like trading with that kind of stuff, then it's going to be a perfect time on the market for you, right? Like uh, one example of an icon that moved yesterday was Prime Desai. He was like 1.1 mil. He was down at a million coins flat and is now back up to like 1.15. So it's like 150,000 coins up on the market. Um, prime George best was like 1.37. Now he's back up into the one, four range, one, four fives. The only thing that was hurt a little bit today on the market is some of these elite tier primes like Ronaldinho. Um, he's still, I believe 5 million coins. Yeah. Five mil, five mil flat. Some of these prime icons that are on the upper echelon, the elite tier, they didn't rebound as much right now because, um, I think the team of the years, people saw how cheap the team of the years were. And they were maybe not like a super surprised, but this these team of the year cards are just really, really good and they're, they're decently cheap. So a lot of people are like, man, I don't really want to go buy an icon today when I can go buy and try a Lewandowski that is, you know, only 1.7 million coins compared to maybe, you know, a team of the year attacker that is, you know, three, four, five million coins and try out a, a cheaper card that is brand new uh, that just got an insane boost. So I think part of the the reason some icons didn't rebound back as much or you know some of you guys were maybe looking to buy like uh like mid r9 right i you know this is a card that you would expect to rise post team of the year he's still 7.1 7.2 but i think the fact that mbappe is you know right around his price range not stupid expensive and then you can buy messi and lewa team of the year for cheaper than this card you know some people are going out and doing that today instead of going and buying the big icons for their team so just kind of keep an eye out for that um, and some of those icons still could rise more in the later weeks, but I feel like it would happen more, um, after we have the whole team out in packs and as people realize, okay, I want this card or I don't want this card to try out or whatever that may be. So just keep an eye out for that stuff on the market, but it's a crazy time. Um, upgrade packs. I don't think those would be today. I feel like it'd be a bit early for upgrade packs today. Um, but those might be coming tomorrow on, on Sunday. So just keep an eye out for that. Good luck if you're opening any packs. Of course, if you have upgrade packs that you have saved, or maybe if you're doing the flash SBCs, good luck with those as well. And good luck in your weekend leagues. Of course, it's probably pretty sweaty out there. I'm going to forego my weekend league this weekend. But the fact that we now have ourselves and Mr. Harry Kane in the squad, I do have a Lucas Mora as well. I need to put him in here. I bought him. So I'm excited to use this Kane card because it just looks fun, right? It looks really, really fun to me. Um, and if we do end up packing a team of the year at some point, we'll figure it out. But for now, I've got a brand new Mr. Harry Kane. I'm excited to try him out. So let me know if you guys did his SBC, of course, down in the comments. But that's the video for today. A bit of a longer one, but it was a crazy Friday of team of the year. Crazy, crazy Friday in terms of just the servers going down and people being like unsure of what in the world was going on. But also crazy just in the fact that the market was moving in pretty incredible ways. There were a lot of ways to make coins, um, but a lot of the market was just all over the place. So that's today's video, boys. If you did enjoy, and of course, if you are hyped for team of the year, hit the smash thumbs, hit the smash, smash the thumbs up button and comment down below if you have any questions. Of course, subscribe if you're new, you know, do all the things, right? All right, boys, it's been Nate to put account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.